welcome to my channel kelly's crochet adventures welcome 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 to my returning subscribers and welcome 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 to my new subscribers honey i'm so glad that you are here today well we gonna get into it today yes we talking about finished objects Woo -woo! yeah absolutely honey okay it's just one but i want to share it with you today it's my double ended crochet dishcloth <laughs> absolutely you ready okay well come on y'all let's Go! <laughs> All right, all right, listen, let's get into it. It is my double ended crochet knitted. Why am I calling it knit? Lord, it's crochet. Double ended crochet dishcloth. Absolutely, yes, I finished it and I want to show you. I was working on this in my live and I just want to show you what the end result is and this is the finished object this is it isn't this beautiful okay check it out first of all let's get into the jigging oh, production you gonna show the colors thank you good gracious can we show the stitches oh we can all right so this is in the colors these are two different um colors one color is a variegated with white blues and like tan colors and the other is a, a solid blue and so with this um this is double ended crochet oh let me get closer so you can see so you got one side this is the whatever side you want it to be and then here's the other side isn't this awesome and i just added a border of double crochet on this and so let me talk to you about this for a little bit i don't know about how many people actually do a uh, double knitted crochet um but um sometimes i do and i actually like it in the dishcloth series that i normally do i um do dishcloths with this and this is what this needle looks like well hook it's a double ended crochet hook some people call it i think somebody told me in a the live they call it um crow knitting um, but I've always known it as double ended crochet um, ever since a long time ago. Yes, very, very long time ago. Very. But this is the hook. This is what it looks like. So this is a size uh, J hook, uh, 6.0 millimeter hook, 6.0 or whatnot. And um, you've got a hook on each side. It's the same size on each side. This turned differently. Um, so yeah, this is it. And this is actually what I used to make this. Now, I used a different hook for the border. I used a size 5 for the uh, 5.0, which is an H. But you know what her name is. Haley. Mm -hmm. That's what I call her, girl. Haley. Oh, yeah. This Jessica. <laughs> it's a J. It's Jessica. This, you got to name your hook. Anyway. Sorry about that. That was loud. Anyway. That hook is what I used for this. Now. It, it, it puts me in the mind of Tunisian crochet. So if you can Tunisian crochet, you can double ended crochet for real or crow knit. Um, so this is what it looked like. Um, it, and it's a series of going back and forth. Now with this, the difference between double knitted crochet. Okay. The difference between double knitted crochet is that you use two separate colors, one on each end. All right. So you start with a chain of, of your whatever your solid color is or whatever your main color is going to be right you do a chain and then you cast it on to your hook like you would for tunisian and instead of uh taking off the loops um you know going that one way you actually turn your hook and you cast on you cast on or you cast off the uh, loops from your hook with your color b yes and then you cast on with your color b and then you turn it again and cast on with your color and you do this repeatedly so you turn it and the difference is two you get a different looking stitch also it does not curl up like tunisian curls up uh, you know when you're working on tunisian y'all know what i'm talking about it'd be rolling up like this you got this little little roll you'd be like oh lord with my project and it's like right there rolled up like that well well with double ended crochet or crow knitting guess what you don't have that it's like real i have not blocked this at all there's no blocking here no no so um that's what i did so one side you can see the secondary color which is the uh 
variegated color which is the tan and the it's kind of like a white or light light blue and blues throughout and it gives it a kind of a cool pattern check it out and basically this stitch is the simple Tunisian stitch yeah it may look a little different because it is double ended crochet and that's fine but I don't know I just wanted to share it with you because I don't know how many people actually do this hmm I just want to share and so here we go check out those stitches though isn't that nice production being nice today she kind of showing you making it on the brighter side of all right thank you thank you production good gracious but this is the one side let me see I can turn it to the other side so you can see see the stitches here it's very nice and so I just added the um, like I said I put a double crochet um, border on and um, I used a separate crochet hook a regular crochet hook to border it and that's what I did yeah so this is it so I hope you can get into this um, a little bit if you are into trying something different hey I completely recommend trying it I mean it's nice and it's different it's a different flow from crochet it's a different flow from uh, Tunisian crochet but you know like I said same stitch simple Tunisian simple crochet is what I use I just changed let's see how many I thought I changed 28 but I changed more than that but that's all right I it, it was simple Tunisian crochet I was just messing around with it and this um the border I think brings it out and a lot of times we end our borders with just like a single crochet and we call it a day honey no go ahead and add a border to your work listen you add a border to your work outside of I mean I did use a, a single crochet you know as the base um, that's what I started with and then I added the border after that so if you single crochet it around and then just go ahead and get jiggy with it mm -hmm, and add a border to it it just makes it a whole nice project that makes it even nicer I'm not saying single crochet isn't nice it's beautiful you can even end it with single crochet if you want but you want to give it a little bit of a zhuzh factor honey add a border and it don't have to be this one you can get jiggy with borders you can make a whole whole dishcloth look like uh just elegant with a border for sure so try it out check it out but this is it this is the finished product and or product project <laughs> yeah so it's finished and it's got a nice little scrubbing action and i'm gonna tell you what i really like um Tunisian crochet and I like uh, the double ended crochet for my dishcloths because I believe that they last longer it's a tighter stitch um, and like I said it lasts longer than regular crocheted dishcloths but that, that that's just my opinion my opinion because these are the things that I see when I make them and I test them out and I work with them you know in my household so I'm like it seems like these last longer when I use regular crochet sometimes my items they um, stretch a little but I just wanted to share that with you I hope that you have found this to be a little bit helpful if you're interested in doing something like this hey Put it in the comments below and let me know what you would do with it because you can do all kind of stuff with double ended crochet honey absolutely you can make blankets um afghans um uh, with scrap yarn or whatever i'm gonna find my double ended crochet book with the scrap um scrap yarn and i think i'm going to share we should we should make one maybe we'll do that one day make a double ended crochet blanket or afghan i think it'll be fun it'll be fun it'll it'll probably be a long process but child it'll be a fun process maybe we'll do that we'll see we'll see what's up all right so listen you enjoy the rest of your day thank you so much for stopping by and listening and checking out my new finished object mm -hmm. and i think you should try it out as well 
try it. You might like it. But if you already do this thing, you already in this space, honey, keep enjoying it when you want to enjoy it here. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, listen, God bless you and may heaven smile upon you. If you need prayer, as always, put it in the comments below and I will pray for you. Okay. All right. And also let me know if you are one who does double into crochet i like to know who else out there that's like me there's be trying all of it <laughs> or most of it I, not all of it i'm coming close i i gotta do some there's so many techniques out here in these streets y'all we pick one and we keep it moving so that's the dealio all right be blessed stay encouraged until next time bye